It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy, ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad? Hey, man. Shoot, man. Hey, look out, man. Feel real good sitting right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I feel... Hey, man, my people is here today, though. You niggas better understand I'm in the D, man. And, hey, you know I change up on you, nigga. If you from East Texas, I say, hey, what's up, East Texas? <laughs> but yeah. if you from the D, nigga, I'm riding with you, too. I've been out here for 30 years, nigga, man. Yeah. Check it, man. Run it. Run it. Look, run it. The motherfucker... I ain't saying that in here. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, y'all? Look, run it, man. Back. What's going on, man? I'm blessed, man. I'm back. I'm blessed. I'm man, listen, man. Because the last time when he was in here, um, she had oh, baby in the valley, oh, and now the baby, baby came out. Yeah, she almost two months. She is gorgeous. Thank you so much. She is Who they say she looked like? Uh, I mean, every day she wake up, she looked like somebody else. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, but it's in between me and her mama uh, <laughs> or my son. That They changed. It, it takes about a year before they really figure out yeah. who they want to look like. I say, I say like nine months tops that's when you're gonna get a realistic look on like mm -hmm. all right you're gonna have, a, you, you gonna have a cute baby everything. or you're gonna be like oh sh <laughs> man, <laughs> man you ain't seen ugly babies <laughs> have i yeah did you admit it oh my baby here i'm good no no i wasn't saying watch you my baby be like let me let me see let me see him man, man. i don't <laughs> see some hey, i done seen some babies man. can i look at him let me take a look that's a cute bib on that baby <laughs> <laughs> well let me tell you what happened to the cute the ugly babies at birth what they glow up when they get older. They glow never up. stay. I uh, seen some ugly stay. ones never change. Nah, I was, I I was raised with some ugly ones that didn't change. They were ugly. <laughs> they, their daddy was ugly. <laughs> their mama wasn't cute. She just, you know, yeah, it's uh -huh. out there. And they yeah. still ugly right now. Yeah, yeah, they ugly and they yeah, cool some with people, it. Some people are just. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was on, on my timeline and I just seen, you know, I ain't gonna say no names or nothing, but I seen some, some you know, uh, 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 some parents and then they pushed out of babies and things. And I was like, man, why y'all two put together this baby like man, this? Man, you seen it. know better than putting you it. You know damn well. Y'all shouldn't have merged you know and put it well. But nobody knew. You said nobody knows. Nobody know. would know. So is love you blind? Got, so let me ask you, you a question. You never seen two ugly people produce a really, really cute baby no, before? I haven't personally saw that before. I've only heard it's it. It's happened. I have personally it's never happened. seen it. It's happened. It's really love is blind? It's no. happened. It's not really blind. No, it ain't blind for sure. Everybody else can see it but you and the person you with. Whatever. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> Whatever. So, hey, Ronnie, why are you working so hard, man? I've been seeing you on <laughs> every, why? everybody music. You jumping out uh, everybody music. Because he got kids. That that's nigga why. Jumping out there I got kids. Too, you heard what she said. <laughs> Boy, that nigga why. jumping out there getting to it. I seen you on one with Journey. I seen you on one with K Breeze. I've been watching. both of them. Yeah, I said, man, that nigga out here working, man. I, I got to work. I like it, man. I got to stay busy. It's almost like every time we get somebody new on our show, when we go researching, he always on something with them. They already done work with him or they know of him or always. he in the midst of what they're doing. I'm not playing. <laughs> and we see that a lot. And them songs be fire too. Amen. Yeah. Nah, the, the, my, my whole purpose with what I was doing was I got to be a part of um, everybody else's legacy too. Mm -hmm. Like, <clears throat> I started to learn like the best way to be a, a legend like everybody say you are, like you got to be a part of other legends Legend, legendary, like mm -hmm. like just just their legacy. Mm -hmm. You got to be a part of that too. Like you got to be a, somewhere in they in a situation or in a story in a timeline. You got to just have, you got to step in there. Okay. Or, or you you know what I mean? Like what you doing? Like you can't just you know what I mean? You can't just be selfish. You see what I'm saying? I got to I got to sprinkle some of this like everywhere. You got to be scarce somewhat for people to really be looking for you so that whenever you're ready to drop something big, they'll be like, oh, there he is. Oh, my God. This, this, this. this. That's what some people be thinking. A lot of people think too hard, too. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I was one of them people. I used to do that. I was sitting and thinking and stuff, but all that, I, don't, I, I don't mind is the devil's playground. Like, you got to work. You got to stay true. busy. You got to you gotta keep putting it in their face. Like, people not thinking about you when you ain't giving them a reason to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How does... How does Lil Run and MF stay relevant all these years, man? That's that's dope, bro. Honestly, I just been myself I knew this whole time. That. But this you see time. what I'm saying, like, cause it's a lot of people, and I know them. I ain't naming them. I'm I'm definitely a positive love type guy for all the artists, but for sure. they struggle with that. And I talked to some of them even on this show that couldn't get past some of the stuff that they endured 
while they was, you know, basically going through their career. Some point st it stopped and, and, and they can't get past it. And I talked to some people in ATL mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. same way. Like big artists that mm -hmm. be with Future, that be with the, all the people, but they can't get past it. You know what I mean? They, they, they can't get past that. The, the situation that, 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 that they had to bump in the road at. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Man, I always say, you, you know, you can get in your own way. That's the only thing. Nobody mm -hmm. nobody can personally stop what you got going but you. That thought process. Like, mental. Everything nobody is can mental. Nobody can ever stop what you got going but you. Like, anytime I'm in a bad situation, I can always sit back and I can dig up all the way to the root of it and it's something that I did. Mm. Regardless of what it happened, regardless if I dealt with a, a certain type of person that was a choice that I made mm -hmm. so I always got to take full accountability for everything and then I can always come back to the drawing board and take care of myself it's, are it's, you the type of person that if you did if when when you do that and you realize that's something that you did if you had to go and apologize are you the type of person that find hard to go apologize or you'll just say man I was wrong if I'm wrong I'm apologize wow so that means sure. that means you grow that's for probably sure. why you, you've you had this longevity like you've had is because sure. you know how to be resilient at times. You know how to forgive. You know how to let things go. You're not out here, you know, harboring negativity. Oh, no, you can't. All that stuff right there hold you back. And I tell people that. And I tell people a lot of times, too, the more money that I meet, the people that, that really excel in, the more humble I see. Mm -hmm. I'm being real. The more smiles I get, it seems like we're having a great time. Because <laughs> you get, because w w I guess... With me, what I learned just on my journey was all the opportunities that just keep coming. Like, man, these are blessings. Mm -hmm. Like, these blessings. So if I'm running around mad all day and I'm still being blessed, he you gonna slash it. that from mm -hmm. me. Yeah, He gonna yeah. slash that from me like, bro, I, I, you went through this, but the next day something might happen where it, you know? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. Then what, you still mad at that? Like, no, nah, you gotta go on, dust that under the rug and Keep the business moving. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've always seen you as the person who is always humble, sweet. I mean, kind-hearted. You know, that's the that's the vibe I get from you. And anybody else I talk to is the same vibe they get. Have you always been that person, or you had to grow up from the other kind of person to this person? I wouldn't necessarily say that. I've always been um straightforward. So, it, what you see is what you get. Like, I ain't gonna disrespect nobody. My mama raised me like that. So, usually. Like a lot of people are just rude. Mm -hmm. Like I see that. Like, I, like I said, the world is the world is a cruel place. So what I always take the consideration is that what you do is something that I might have to like. It might be a chain reaction or something I gotta run into. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? If somebody mm -hmm. do some take business at a gas pump and they got sweaty palms and they and they and they don't clean the pump before you get there, you grab the pump. It's nasty. But that comes from somebody you don't even know in the mm -hmm. world that's just inconsiderate. They know they mm -hmm. got sweaty hands. Mm -hmm. See me. I'm one of them type of people that I'm always considerate. That's just how my, my mom is, too. Like, I always tell her, her heart too big. I, I see what you said. They'll say, that's what I be on. Like, bro, you be, man, you need to say Like, I be like, bro, it ain't even, it ain't even that big because I, I, I done seen people take more, endure way more exactly. than what I, what I endure. And, like, I, I'm not passive at all. I'm checking whatever is going on. <laughs> like, it, I'm just straight up and down. Like, black, it, it, black and white. Like, ain't no gray area. I yeah. know the last time we were on here, I didn't get to interview you. What? It was, no, it was Buster. So, That's, you know, since you I'm serious? on here. Yeah, you, in the, you in the blend. What's going right, on? Right, since I'm in here, uh -oh. I like to take it way back. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. She going to get it. I need yeah. to know about Lil Ronnie. MF? The, the child. No, before he was the MF. Okay. okay? <laughs> From a child coming up, how were you? Who were you? Sports. I was like, I was bad, but I'll say <clears throat> the stuff that like, as kids, the stuff that we did just out here, like we used to be excited from like going to the parties and the party gets shot up and you don't get hit. You're yeah. like, oh, you got you a thrill. But it's, it, the more I grew, the more I started to see like, bro, that was your life, bro. Like it's just certain things, like you said, I just started maturing and understanding yeah. like early though. How old were you at that time? 15, 16. Like I, I done kept all my partners out of so much trouble. Like You got siblings? I got, I got, Two sisters and a br big brother. Two sisters. I'm and the big I'm brother. the baby. You are the baby. Oh, I'm the learner. I sit back and watch them. Yeah, yeah. That's good that you can learn from other people's experience and you don't have to go through it yourself. Yeah. But you said you were bad. Bad how? Give me an example. Like just about a that. bad kid. I was just a bad kid. Like I was a class clown in school, so yeah. I, I I was troublemaking. Like yeah. my mama used to tell me, like your teachers probably hate to see you come. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and I understood that now now that I'm a, a, an adult and I, I be like, dang, and now, now I know the, what they was getting paid. Yeah. I know they hated to see me come in the room. Me too. What did you do? Like, Same thing. I just was, I took every opportunity, like, I take every opportunity, if I got a punchline to throw in, I'm chucking it oh, in there. Okay. Have you seen anybody that was, you know you bad when you see an old teacher and mm -hmm. she said, ooh, no. That's what the, the, the <laughs> no, Miss Waters, I, I Ms. Waters, read, no, Ms. Waters told me, teachers. ooh, no. As She saw you later and told you yeah, that? Yeah, like, I'm not weak. <laughs> like, no. Like, no, nah, no, I was bad, there. dude. Like, burn, yeah, I yeah, burned some in the he, room. No, when I, he I, told me about things yeah. that he used to do when he was a kid, yeah. I started praying to God, like, God, please don't let my kids be yeah, like Yeah, I him. set a fire off in the trash can, act like it never happened. Just it's burning back there. And go hide. Yeah, yeah no, I ain't hiding. I'm just sitting, I'm sitting in the classroom while the fire is burning. What's going there. on? Yeah, and everybody it started discovering, and I discovered it with them. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a fire. <laughs> It's a fire yeah, back there, y'all. in there know I done did it. They know who done did it. Who, did they tell on you, though? No, they oh, real G me. kept it real G. For sure. We put it out together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, it was bad. I, I thank God my kids ain't nothing like me because, dude, it was horrible, man. One you thing think? one thing I never did was let nothing make it to the house to my mama, though. Me That's neither. Not, really? How did you do that? I don't know. No, me neither. Cause no teachers call and said, "Man, no, mm -hmm. the teachers for sure. The teachers would call. Mine didn't call. We didn't. Oh, I'm and older than you, so they didn't call. It? Whoopings. <laughs> man, I come from where my mama. I'm little. You see how little I am as a man. <laughs> Imagine me as a kid. My mama used to lift me up by one leg and whoop no. me. <laughs> for sure, one leg belt. Bro, that's I'm good. That's, that's good. That's good. So you that's got it right more there. than any of your other siblings. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Yeah, man. Wow. So. So let just 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 tell us a little bit about um, like just if uh, if you had to go back, man, and uh, tell the younger you, I always get that. That's one of my favorite questions. How to respond? What what what, what would you tell him? The younger me. How to respond to what he's about to face? You know, like 15, 16, that little running. Talking to you, you talking to that little running from now. What and, would you okay, say? I, First, I want to say that I don't regret none of that I done done. <laughs> of course, I, I get it. I get it. Because it brought you to where you are today. It, exactly. And so that path alone is crazy. But I would really but tell hold, myself. Okay, hold on. But before you say that, because being in the music industry or being just an adult, there's times in, in the past where we all have been through something where you could have made more money mm -hmm. with a certain decision or mm -hmm. you could have helped somebody instead of, you know, you, you, you were maybe rushing mm -hmm. and then end up saying something positive to that person to help change their life and you hear that that person killed themselves or you know something like that um so it doesn't have to be um something that's gonna change change your future but there's something that you know you look back and you're like you know what i regret not saying that or doing that at that moment in time uh i would have said i should have just trusted what i knew you so see what i'm saying yourself it wasn't necessarily me second guessing myself. It was just more so seeking validation in places that I didn't need it. Ah, you see what I'm saying? I got you. So I now that I'm here, still pushing, still breathing, I I, I got to see that all the choices that I did make and everything that I did put myself in position for, like it was successful. Like so, I know it was certain things that I gave to other people to do for me, mm -hmm. and it was like I didn't need that. Yo, you, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I would have just took that and said, all right, trust what you're doing, bro. Trust what you and your bros doing. Y'all don't need no this, no, no overhead seeking, looking, helping. You don't need help. You you know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. I would have done that. Well, hey, that's that, good. that brings up a good subject. You know, um, shout out to Ricky Booker because he was My on the show. My boy Ricky. <laughs> Wait a minute. And he told me that he used to be your manager. Uh -huh. I, I, I flipped over. I said, you know the nigga too? Yeah, that's you my know, dog. that's how I said. Like, damn, you know the nigga too. He's like, Ricky and shout was, Brothers. You know, yeah, Brothers yes. Brothers. They had us on there. If you watched it last Saturday, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we went by eight minutes long. It's at the good. End. The last no, no, party. like he put boss talk on there. Did y'all get some of it though? Oh, we went over there and ate that. We were on the last episode too. Let me tell too. you that red velvet waffle. Oh, that thing go in. You, you let me tell you, we had the regular waffle and the red velvet. That red velvet just it's like it's a cake. Mm -hmm. I'm like that can't be you been over out there? of wa waffle. Man, yeah, we been man, over there. Y'all be over there every day. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas frequent it. <laughs> when he was at the strip club, we that's the reason to go. <laughs> hey, the boy is on TV now. Mm -hmm. he's on, yeah, he put me on yeah, TV. On that's what I'm telling you. Every, we was on his show. He's, he's he got on a TV show. Every Saturday. Ricky. Yeah, and we was on it with him. 
twelve thirty every Saturday. Yeah, oh, I need to go up there and get my cameo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah he, he putting everybody out. <laughs> everybody just eating. He, he putting them on. You, right? but the soul in there. is delicious. Yeah, he said. He said down by me. He like guys. We about to record this, and um, yeah. So you guys about to be on my my uh, cooking show. Uh -huh. And uh, sure enough, we was on there. Everybody started calling me, man. You on hard. TV? So because he was talking about how he do his steak because we like our steak medium well yeah. because we don't like a lot of red and you know yeah, we don't want to call you want still soft yeah. and he started going to explain how you get it not red you have to leave it overnight let all that blood because that's the blood drain out of the steak sick I don't even like steak like that I don't eat steak anymore. I don't like steak like that. Yeah, well, but he does. Well, I I, I definitely eat steak. Um, <laughs> I'm not for the sit and play with you niggas, man. You niggas ain't got beside y'all self. I love seafood. You I niggas trying to act vegan. No, 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 no. The nigga I, don't eat nothing. Look, look what I just did to y'all. Are no. you a vegan? I'm not. I'm not a vegan. Look, what the hell you eat, Ronnie? Don't try. Look, Ronnie don't eat nothing, huh? No, he eat chicken. I, I for sure eat chicken. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> that hey, listen. yo boy, that nigga love that chicken, man. Oh, everything I love. Every time I eat. Some chicken, I say, I wonder how many forms I done ran through by myself. <laughs> Full crop. So, so what's your favorite chicken place in Dallas? My favorite chicken place yeah, in Dallas. Yeah, whether it be fried, whether it be baked, whether it like be lemon chicken, chick, then? lemon breast. I don't have a favorite chicken place. Oh, okay. You don't want to put it how out do there because you, like you be everywhere. It? How do you I like your chicken cooked? What's your favorite I, dish? Blackened. Uh, baked. Baked. Uh, I like it. Fried. I like. I like. I, I ain't gonna say fried because fr fried is most definitely delicious. <laughs> Eli, it's a stereotype. Listen, that's a stereotype. That nigga like that fried chicken. chicken. It is that delicious. Fried, that nigga like that he fried can, chicken. He can, he can air fried. Make it a little bit more healthier. We, air for, fried. Sure, we for sure got the air fried. The shake and bake. Okay. Huh? Y'all doing the shake and bake? Thing? I like it smothered. smothered. Okay. I okay. love it smothered. Chicken. Smothered. You don't never had smothered chicken. I had smothered you pork chop. Man, I got you. Not smothered chicken. I just chicken. had a fried. I just had some fried pork chop and I had some smothered chicken Ooh. this week. Ooh, that'll go on. Smothered chicken. <sighs> it's that good. I had smothered chicken last night. We're going down. <laughs> That's your favorite dish. What's, smothered chicken, what's broccoli. Your side? Can you, you cook? Go. Broccoli and um and um rice. Can you cook? I can't cook at all. <laughs> that boy, the baby boy, he ain't hey, cooking. Let me, let me tell you something. I'll fuck up a hot pocket. <laughs> no, so, I'll fuck up some weenies. You hear me? Wow. No cap. I'll fuck up. I'll fuck up boiling up a pot of weenies. So, who in your family um, does music? Nobody. So where did you get this from? That's what's crazy. I never had a blueprint. Like I always say that. Like it's no, it was never no blueprint. Like everybody that was in my family that saw me doing it, they thought it was a hobby. Like you gotta understand, my grandmama thought it was a hobby until Beyonce danced the circle. Like it was like you see what I'm saying. Like my mama when I lived with her, she used to, they used to hear me like doing ad libs and be like, that boy got Tourette's. Wow. You know the ad libs is right, spaced right, out. Right. Uh, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong with that boy in there? So just nobody understood it. It was really they they learned watching me do it. Mm. So so when when I looked, I seen that you uh that that mulatto song went gold. Went gold. I love it. How that how that do you? Cause I seen you with your shirt off, nigga. I got it right here on the screen. I, nigga, I, I, the nigga, the nigga holding it. I don't know what's wrong with him. He had his house or something. I'm at the house for sure. <laughs> For sure, so, so I, I, that was a good look, man. That was just, that's just a blessed. That's a, one of those blessed situations. Shout out to Jay White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay I've White been, put I've me been, in position. I've been, I've, been, I've been trying to. I'm gonna get that boy on the show. I, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I told a dude at the Good Toss Shop mm -hmm. before I went to Atlanta. I said you need to. He said, man, E Jay White be coming here all the time. Uh, I'm gonna get him on Boss Talk. You know, niggas. Don't, <laughs> I said, okay. Well, tell the nigga to call me. Yeah, I ain't heard from him yet. No, no, no. no I got you. I okay. got you. He, he really, he um coming back from that Rona. He just he he, he, he oh yeah. He recovering on mm. that. So you know, yeah. bro went through it hard too. So yeah, it'd be tough, man. He got to take it easy. Know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. He, you know, it's he, he good. Down. He he good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he finally went to the house and things of that nature. He was put up at the hospital and things like that. Wow, so, man. You know, I, I sent him. You know, some prayers and things of that yeah, nature. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. That that works. That's my boy. That move mountains, right? That's there. my boy. Mm -hmm. So, um, baby girl, come and you, you know, uh, yeah, baby girl here now. Baby girl in the building. You double down on the features. 
Because yeah, <laughs> he adding he adding them kids, so he gotta add more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm selective yeah. with my features. Like I don't do features. With I know it. I see that. I ain't. Mm-hmm. I know you being selective. You told me to be selective. Yeah. That, I want to tell you thank you because that was some good advice. Remember, mm-hmm. it's the best thing I, you I tell do. everybody that I be like, Lil Ronnie told me not to yeah, pick you. Yeah, he said it all the time. I'm not picking you. Pick you them to. right. The <laughs> right ones. Hey, you, the ones that you done brought through here will drag in. Take me if you did want to start. If you wanted to open up a line of. All right, this is where we started. This is all right. Yeah. It's people that's got, they got their money ready right now just off of the people you done brought through here. I know it. And, and you know, some of the people that, like, like the Shannon the Cannon Briggs and different people, you know, he was two-time heavyweight champion of the world. I just remember certain ones that came through KLC. Mm. You know, different ones that came through here, man, Big that a lot of people mm-hmm. really hadn't even talked to here. Mm-hmm. I'm just being real. And it's just because uh, I think it's favor. God shows favor God to shows who favors. Then you came through. For then sure. you send me half pain. Really, he was influenced. You know, he was influenced by you. Hell, that nigga wasn't sure. coming over here till you came. And he liked to talk. <laughs> he, he, he liked to talk too. But he for sure, I'm be like, nah, hey, he that's love, one of them man. places, bro. Go on, push through there. <laughs> he gonna say all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The the most important thing is that. I mean, cause some people like, e man, what you gonna do when you run out of people? You know, you'll never no run out of people. Thing. There's no such thing. I told him, thing. I say, it's certain people that said, I said, man, we do mental illnesses. We do. I could tell. You, I got a guy coming. See, I'm like Johnny Carson of it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I got a guy coming that he Here's he rode a bike. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, he rode a bike all around the United States and Canada. Yeah, he got a billboard. I said, bring that damn billboard and come over here, older guy. And let's talk it, about it. Yeah, yeah, he got yeah. Yeah, got a little picture with a little spandex in his bike. <laughs> I said, yeah, nigga, come on. I need this show bad. Yeah. I've been trying to get him over here. He was sick last time. Mm-hmm. He older. He about 60 or something, almost 70. So I was like, man, I could do anybody. Yeah. And we I have mean, one you know, that we hadn't um, released yet, but I love it and I can't wait for it to come out. This lady, um, she has been abused ever since she was four, yeah. all the way up till she was in her thirties. By, by her daddy, one and by her step daddy, step daddy. Um, oh, we her got dope shows. Look, look, don't even give them too all much. All the way up. But we I'm got dope watch. shows, bro. I'm we got dope shows. Dope shows. I, I mean, I, I wanted to cry. I'm telling you, yeah. it, it was. We got I'm something like, like that. I've never heard somebody being abused for that long of a period. And she's like, it, it was normal for her. Yeah, it wasn't anything that was. That's abnormal. all she knew at the that's time. All she knew. That's so scary. It really it is. And what made her stop was her baby. Yeah. That's so scary. But that, that, that's the kind of stuff you, you will hear here that nobody else is touching. because yeah, We touch everything. We, we, yeah. But then we got y'all too. So it's dope. Like we could do. We, we, we well, y'all could do it. whatever y'all want to do. That's the way we want it. Y'all getting influencers <laughs> in here. Y'all getting entrepreneurs in here. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. Getting, y'all getting public figures in here. Y'all getting artists yeah. in here. Y'all getting producers yeah. in here. Yeah. That's y'all dope. Gonna, y'all going to have actors. Y'all going to have. We, we had, had one. Actors. See what I'm saying? Look, here I am. I don't know. Y'all getting <laughs> ball, y'all going to have ball players come through here. It's just people want to. You know, everybody got a voice. Yeah, yeah. And, and the guy. And everybody has a story. Everybody yeah. most definitely have a, a wonderful story. Some, uh, some people have some crazy stories you would not believe. Yeah, yeah. that's See, what mo- that's what most success though, like the story. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I think a lot of times, like it, it feel good when you go to a city like we went to Atlanta last week, and and uh, you know, uh, quick trip come here and did no interviews. Him and Bankroll Fresh, best mm-hmm. you know, best friends. Everybody down there off the porch, all of them try to get him, and then he want he come on boss talk. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the dope part because you know they look at what we are doing and they know that it, we genuine. You it's know genuine. That, we that G tripping. word is hey yeah. man, hey that's how I, that's how I moved in every room like thus far like. <clears throat> They know, like, when I'm in a room with all these these people, and I'm in a room with all these know. people is what I'm telling y'all. Like, I already know. If they ain't giving me a genuine vibe, guess what? We ain't got nothing. I yeah. don't care. I don't lose nothing. And I never met you before it. this. That part. I never, I've been, I'm here 30 years of my life. I ain't met you before this. Mm-hmm. I won't feel like I'm losing nothing. No, I no. can talk to you if your energy is Not fucked right. out. Yeah, yeah. And I don't and blame it, you. And it's hard to explain that to somebody that just see business and, and just see opportunity. I'm like, bro, I... This is I put my life in this shit. You, you see did. what I'm saying? So I want to be around shit that I want to be around. Yeah. And yeah. I don't. I'm not put in a position where I'm forced to be around nothing. I don't want to be around. Yeah. So just all the artists that I done met. If we been in a room and you watching this, I ain't fuck with you if I don't got your number. Dang. Mm. Straight up. And that's real because you know it's a reason behind it. People need to understand, man. When it's a thing called humbleness, bro. 
you guys been grinding for a long time. You know, top off business, you know what I'm saying? You guys got a whole group of people, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Y'all y'all working well together with others, man. And the movement that you guys are making really is something that can be applauded in the city. You don't see many people like that together. A lot of these niggas are sporadic. That. You understand what I'm saying? I appreciate it's that. gonna take that type of structure to bring this city together. Yeah. To where people start understanding structure and building together. Yeah. That's what you guys have created with top off business. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We watching everything. And we man. just being ourselves, bro. Y'all mm -hmm. and what's crazy is I'm glad that's what people see, cause boy, we we <laughs> Yeah. We just yeah. like any other dysfunctional motherfucking family too. That's yeah, what's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like we have our situations and no, things no, of that nature. Too. Of course, but just just to know that how people see the overall just of it. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. that's really all we want to put out. Like, we want to put our music out and we just want to put out great vibes. Well, you see what I'm saying? Show family. One, yeah. we, we, we striving to try to build together with others and, and I'm talking about being a positive influence and platform where people I already told you, 10 years so, from now, yeah, this, is what this we, shit going to be so goddamn, this, this shit going to have Reboot on the side of that Man, <laughs> Billy going to have to give y'all a check. Hey, y'all hey, going to have bottles right hey, here hey, with hey. sponsors and yeah, shit. That is, that's that's it. what it's about. Yeah, and, and building it up raw just like we're doing is yeah. because we're saying we know we're building. You and know what I'm saying? We're we respectful. Are. And we came up in here looking like, damn, what's this? You know what I'm saying? We've been broke up in it. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's respect and love for all the brothers that do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, the one thing I can say though, man, is people like you that show up on our platform, show us love and give us motivation to keep going, man. And we Definitely. realize in life, people, God put people in your life, even if it's just for a moment, mm -hmm. for a reason, mm -hmm for us to impact each other, mm -hmm. you know? So even although sometimes you say you, you might not have a person's number in your phone, they came in your path for a reason, whether for you to learn something or for them oh, to yeah. learn something, you know what I mean? Because what you're saying, yeah. it, was, it was a lot of times, like early in my career where I was in, in rooms and I was just like, man, I just feel like the little nigga. Yeah, like, yeah. And, and what you were saying, I had to start to, I, like I said, I always check myself like, it ain't nothing nobody can tell me. I, I literally have to encounter this shit on my own. Like, mm -hmm. it's a lot of things that somebody pulled me to the side and I won't understand it until I understand it. Like, exactly. I gotta have the knowing of my own. Like, nobody can just tell me, oh, this is what's supposed to be going on. Like, I gotta feel it. I gotta know what's going on, too. And I, 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 I would say, ah, I'm in these places for a reason. So mm -hmm. now that's what I put and instill into my people. Like, mm -hmm. bro. If you in these rooms, it's do not amazing. think like, don't think that, oh, you the smallest artist in here. Like, you in this room, bro. Man. Niggas ain't getting in these rooms, bro. Act That's like right. you belong there. Oh, it ain't no act like you. You belong, you belong there. there. Man, right. the do realest, you. Man, I had a nigga down there, and I hate to keep running because we just did ATL last week. I told a nigga last week, I was like, look, man, these niggas fluffing these views up. These <laughs> niggas are not doing what they say they, they doing. They been doing that, Watch though. this, though. And I was really on it like that, right? And I was like, yeah, and these niggas need to, you know, they need to be real. And but the nigga hit me with something, then he said, uh, yeah, but they doing it. Meaning they putting their budget up, they doing the videos, they doing so they doing it. They 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 doing what they doing, and you can't take that from them. Mm -hmm. Even though it might not be the the way that you would like to see it, mm -hmm. they doing it. Not genuine, but they work. Because somebody stuff. see it and somebody's fooled. <laughs> so they doing it. Oh, trust me, we sit back and we talk about <laughs> the people that do that type of stuff. And we don't knock it because like I said. You gonna fool the fools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You might even get feature money. Yeah. You might get show money. You gonna get, you know, you gonna you you can you can you can do that. But like you said, after a while, that type of stuff like that wear and tear, once once somebody scratch that that top layer off of you and see like, oh, what's going on? Nobody know this song. I thought it had two million views on it. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. ain't nobody singing it. Yeah, this song over here got a hundred thousand. Everybody singing it. You just start to start to see what's yeah, yeah, you yeah. start you, to just you exposing yourself. It ain't that you exposing yourself. It takes certain people that know what stuff is like normal. What's what what's generally right? Like when like when we see comment to like to view ratio on YouTube, we know what's real. Mm -hmm. Without even knowing if it's a bot on there or not, we know exactly what's real because we done been from, mm -hmm. we done went from. I remember being excited like niggas don't know. I kind of we remember being excited making a hundred views, yeah, getting a hundred views yeah. Yeah. to yeah. doing a thousand views, to doing a hundred thousand views, to doing a mil. Like we saw what it looked like 
And you like, have to rejoice for every moment it, of it. What we in, what a hundred? Where the bitch got a hundred dudes? <laughs> you gotta it's rejoice. All, it's a, we out the hood. We good. <laughs> and that's how we thought. But yeah. you see what I'm saying now? The internet is such a powerful place. Like a million views don't even change people's life. No, Mm-mm. I think I, I was talking to uh, Google Ads today because I'm one of them dudes that call <laughs> yeah, them niggas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's up? You, you say give you this, and you gonna tell you gonna if I give you my money to get on this Google Ad program because I don't know nothing about this nigga. Yeah. But I'm talking to the dude who had the Google because I feel like that's where I needed to go with mine. Most mm-hmm. people then put me on here, and I'm gonna put you in this. Gonna, I'm calling Google Ad. If I'm gonna do ads, nigga, what is it gonna benefit me? I still hadn't done it, mm-hmm. but I. I wanted to talk to the people who are behind these Google ads. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Not saying that I was going to do it, but I want to know, like, what's going on with it. You Knowledge know what I'm saying? Power. Yeah, so so that's, sure. the, that's the game. So I think you got to investigate it, and I think it got to be something that's real. We sold clothes here for 15 years, and one of the main things, everything had to be authentic. You can't go in here and find no fake nothing. No fake nothing. Because that way you know already it's 100. You it's come over here, it's 100. People can't, well, if it's fake, it's going to fade off. It's going to fall back anyway. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It might not fall all the way back, but people going to see it. Like, somebody going to be like, damn, them fake. Yeah, them fake tennis. And, and, guess, who, and guess who going to notice the fake? The people that got it that's real. That's mm-hmm. right. That's all, like, that, that's what I was telling you. Like, we can see it. The people that know what's going on, the people that's in the room, but the fools, you can fool the fool. Exactly. The well, people who are not in the industry, because a lot of times in any career that you do, until you venture off in a certain career, you... Your, your eyes are not open to certain things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you're just a spectator looking at certain, oh, they got a lot of views. Oh, they probably hot. They this, they that. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're not going down and looking at all of the the um, comments and realizing that don't make no sense. It don't make sense at all. Yeah. What? You be, know what I mean? They're not it got doing three, that. It got, it got three likes. And some Chinese four, people four, commenting four on it. Shout out to them Chinese to be <laughs> commenting on these niggas. They hey, look, making that money. They making that money. How they commenting on something? They don't even speak English. You know what I'm saying? That's that crazy comments that they be making though. <laughs> but it's, talking so, about it's so else. real. It, it, it's so good. It's so to me. I appreciate it. Like I appreciate when I post something and they get like a hundred, two hundred, two hundred likes or something like that. Because I'd be like, this ain't the type of content my people like. Yeah. And then I could post something and it's gonna get. So it's, it's telling you it's, it's training it's you it's telling me like it's yeah. giving you the it's giving you the blueprint but you gotta you gotta watch. move forward to even like not not even watch cause watching is something you're gonna do just okay. period mm-hmm. but you gotta be moving forward and you gotta keep throwing everything out there that you can to even see what your people like mm-hmm. so I get to see what my people like I'm like alright cool I, I'll post something that I personally know won't get that many views but it might get the it might get the people that I need to see see Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everybody don't understand everything. I got you. you see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I start to know you how to always give us something. So but you don't listen, you, nigga. Yeah, give I know. I know. I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> but then um, sometimes you got to be scared. Aren't you scared that it puts you in a box too? Because when you push out something and you know your people like it and you can push out something very similar to that and you know it's going to get views because that's what they're looking for, mm-hmm. you don't want them to be trained to just like that. You want them to be able to like Trust other me, I, stuff. I'm with you because my whole career has been based off of that. Me personally, if I want to go like viral right now, I can drop a twerk song. Right. That's always been a lane. That's what just, they look for. I can, I can swing in that motherfucker like I'm from Houston. <laughs> Make twerk Man, music. You know I what? can drop it. I can drop that shit, and I personally know I can do wonders if I stay just dropping old songs, right? Mm-hmm. But I know for a fact that I push out other music in my catalog because I have fan, a fan base that wants different music. Right. Mm-hmm. And they might not be as big as the fan base over here that want these club records. But I know I got to feed all these folks. Like, That's I'm going right. to get back to y'all. I know y'all there. Yeah. I know y'all ain't going nowhere. I can get, I can drop one of them a year. One a yeah, year. Yeah, and they going to love it. They going to eat it up. One a year. And I can come over here and feed this whole fan base right here because this is really what um, what I love, this is my passion. I just know this right here is mm. the paper. Mm. This is where you. I eat. Mm. Mm-hmm. But everybody don't have that to be able mm-hmm. to see that. But you, mm-hmm. you articulate with it. Uh, Ricky Booker told us that he it's said, just, "You know, he said, you know a hit. You remember that? Yeah, I remember sure. that. 
I know what I need one too. I know exactly what he's doing. I know what I need pretty much what he was saying. Yeah, because he said he just. You know a hit. You know what you're dealing with. And and he said, that's why he said, I'm going to be honest with you. He don't need no manager. Right. I said, damn. He said, most of these guys, if they really know what they're doing, really don't even need a manager. That's what that nigga told me. And he said, because of the way the way that the industry is now. Yeah, the, yeah, the industry the is The way you can definitely. eat, he said, you, it's different than what it used to be. It's most definitely That's different. what he said. And, and Rick, one of those guys, bro, like, he just, want, he, he he get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He gets it. He gets it. Yeah, that's, so. that's truly a blessing that you guys came together like you did. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and then, Afterwards, it ain't no hard feeling. It's love. It's right. it, no, nah, it's never. You, you see what I'm saying? I do business with a lot of people. Like you, know, gonna be you know, I'm real with it. It's a lot of people can't do that. You man. know why? Because they mix talent personal. in itself. They, exactly. mix, they mix the personal and they let the personal outweigh the business. Like when we doing the business, we always gonna get the business clear. The business is the easiest part. Mm -hmm. the, the hard part is me being your partner. Mm -hmm. me, me being able to say you my friend, me being able to say me being able to say good things about you, because in the business you can you can like in in the business you see so much bad stuff that it, it it'll make you tear a, a person down and they ain't personally who they are. That's just how they do business. I think the money hungry ones are the ones who always get um, in their feelings because they want to be with you forever as long as you keep going up they want to be by your side all the time they, they're not looking at you and like okay well he knows everything that he needs to know he it's his turn to take this journey by himself now i did what i'm supposed to do and mm -hmm. you know dope. good luck shake hands part ways mm -hmm. some people were like no i need to be with you I put all, all the way this time in and yeah. and so i need to be reaping the benefits for mm -hmm. as long as i can reap it mm -hmm. man the beauty of my situation is like just working with me at this point like in this city you should be able to go work with any artist saying you was attached to me. Yeah, because I, cause I still like do just good business with everybody. Mm -hmm. like, and that's good. I don't. I make sure I don't leave a sour taste in nobody's mouth. Like it's so easy to do that though. I feel like you go out your way when you fuck folks over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You went out your way to lie. You went out your way to steal. You went out your way to do something. Like it's so easy to just be. And you got to remember who you messed over. Yeah. Because you might forget and <laughs> turn yeah, around yeah, and yeah. person you know coming after you or whatever. So so but, with them chains shining. Mm. Damn chain shining, man. So, God, that hey, bro. boy, you niggas, mouth shining, chain shining. Hey, boy, we you blessed. We Stop blessed. all business in the building, <laughs> man. Business in the building. <laughs> I got a question about the music. Go ahead. How does an artist um, get global attention, so to say? Because then, like, you know how sometimes you go from city to city? Like, we went to Atlanta, and we asked somebody, like, hey, um, what, who's hot out here? What, yeah. What's going on? And they told us, and we're like, I never heard yeah, that before. Yeah, yeah. It's like every city you go to, there's always somebody name, that y'all can name people from here, and they'll be like, right. "Who? Like yeah, who? Yeah, they don't know." But them. how can you get over that hump of just being a local artist f to be, you know? And he at should this be the point, guy to ask. At this point, the internet. Now, when I when I say the internet, I'm not saying it's a certain platform that you can go to. I'm just saying when you're trying to be like known around the world, the best way for people to see you everywhere. It's the internet. Mm. Now, how do you get seen by everybody? That's where it becomes strategic. And I can't even answer that. I can only tell you to get how, how to get as big as <laughs> I am. Like, that's what I always tell my partners. Like, I can't tell you. Like, you know, you always got people that tell you what to do. You need to be doing this. You need to be doing that. I can only tell you what I know. Okay, well, tell us how to get as big as you are. Well, I grinded on the ground first. Okay. I was playing, passing out flyer CDs, mm -hmm. running around doing um, open mics. Mm-hmm. Open mic nights and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. that ain't the game like that no more. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So the internet now, you know, somebody tell you, you need to get your TikTok, get on your TikTok. And somebody that never, eat, that ain't even savvy on none of the um, socials, they, they won't be able to get on TikTok and just mm -mm. roll. Mm -mm. So it's one of those things where you just got to jump in that water and like, you got to just try everything. Because even when you talk about TikTok, you have some people out here who are so silly I mean, they they put some stuff out on TikTok, and you're like, how that get all that views? And it's just it's it's because 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 TikTok is um based around kids. I love the internet, man. It tell you exactly who you are from their perspective. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like it, man. Because yeah. a lot of people don't uh, that you know if you got tough skin, you should love it. You know what I mean? Cause, and, cause, and if 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 and if you're good, you should love it. A lot of people. <laughs> Let me tell you about the internet, bro. The, the, the internet is the funniest place to me. Let me tell you why the internet is one of the funniest places to me. Because a lot of people get stuff used against them that they posted. Yeah, you posted yeah, yeah, this, yeah. my boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did nobody? Yeah, like I'm talking a lot of big like, name folks like, do that too. Now take me this. 
You have niggas like Kanye's and, and yeah. you know the big artists. They go viral from motherfuckers in their bushes catching shit. Mm-hmm. You know, vulnerable moments. These niggas set their cameras up and do the dumb shit and then regret it. <laughs> I never set my camera up and do nothing that, you know, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That would be embarrassing to myself or that I feel like I can't take. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, even some pictures that I might do, I, I'm a funny nigga. Like, I, I don't care. My, my, my personality is funny. I see certain, blo- certain blogs, they'll post a picture that I might have posted trying to be funny and they'll post it with my music. Mm-hmm. But I always, I, I'll be mad for a little bit, but at the same time, I'm like, I posted that. Mm, yeah. So I'm not mad yeah. at them. Yeah. They went and did what they job. They went and took the best entertaining picture they could. Fuck them, though. Because <laughs> that shit lame. Yeah. But I understand their job is well. they do. They got a job. They, they twist and turn everything to make just to get clout, just to get, you know, people They got to get the traction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And that brings traction. Are you still going to buy Jupiter? Or what's up? Listen. <laughs> I mean, you. Hey, let me tell you, like, the internet is funny because look, I, I posted that shit on my Twitter. Uzi liked it, and Did all he? his fans. If you go to that post on my Twitter, okay, all Uzi fans are replying to it. Oh my God, he liked it. Are you gonna buy it? Like, <laughs> oh, and these are kids. I love it, man. You know that's the way it be, bro. Like, but like, shout out to Uzi for even you understand me. He, that means he watched it and he laughed. <laughs> yeah, is that what it was about? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This shit is hilarious. Yeah, no, I, I think I, I think you're right. How, who's selling this land? Who are, who's slanging this shit? So if I need to get some of these plants in my pocket and see if I can't slang some of these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way it be, man. So you want what you're trying to do? You're trying to up in one right now on the award? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh oh. So we have an award. Look at his face for Lil Ronnie. And it says, presented to Lil Ronnie, a.k.a. Mr. Ronnie Wright. Yeah. In recognition to your many years of, of service to the rap industry, not only as a rapper, but also as a writer creating hit after hit, year after year. I sure appreciate it. Say, that. man, that's, like I said, we, there's some things that go on in the city, you know, and, and I'm going to be honest with you, we be trying to make a staple a point, and we've done it time and time again since we started the platform, you know, where we... We do things in a way to where we try to figure <laughs> this man something else. We try, we try to figure out how to, you know, we, we came with this platform and we came with a way to where we wanted to give people roses while they were here. Mm-hmm. And I felt like this was what, what, you know, this is what we would do. This is dope, bro. I'm putting this in the studio. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, I appreciate y'all. Like, y'all been so genuine. Like, y'all been genuine outside of, like, this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us talking on the air, like, yeah. you know, you text me. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna text like, him. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, about the family. Like, yeah, like we like this shit. This is I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I, really I, do. I do. I like I tell you, anybody that come across our path, I'm always gonna say it's a reason God put them here, and we care about people. Sometimes we tend to care too much. Yeah, she be mad. I buy a lot of plaques. That's what she's saying. No, you know what I'm saying? no, no. <laughs> but what, what, because we, do don't I do? buy, we, we slow down and I'm appreciative yeah, of yeah, like yeah. slowing I'm, down. I'm going hard at first. Too. But <laughs> you know, the reason why, too, because a lot of people haven't, they've been in the game so long and they have not been recognized. recognized. Yeah. You know what I mean? So in the beginning, Not like you, you get be, recognized, but still. I mean, I appreciate it. Yeah. Like, this is got one life, bro. Yeah, yeah. You want to give people roses while they're here. Man, you and got that's the one life. Thing. Like that's like that's why I try to do so much. Everybody say why you so busy. Like man, I'm gonna be out of here. Mm-hmm. I tell them all the time. Like bro, like niggas be it, 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 it's down to like this type of shit. It's just like muscles. You wanna leave a legacy? Like how do you know what you look like in shape? Like you only got one. Like you can't render that. You gotta go get in that gym. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like you can look at everybody else fit. Like like how you wanna do it? Yeah. yeah like do you want to see your body yeah, this ain't a credit player like this is really you like yeah yeah you got to go work for that yeah, like, i appreciate you it's different bro like i said you, the writing and, and the way that you you put that work in and stay consistent for all these years um it has to be applauded in many ways you know a lot of the um like i told you earlier when we started the interview a lot of people who start you know they don't just absolutely finish bro they they hit a bump or, or and they give up or they or somebody's discouraging by saying something to them, and the next thing you know, they so caught up in anger they can't move forward. I'm telling you, or depression. Yeah. 
Or depression, because a, a lot, lot of, of it is depression. Is depression bro. A lot of them. I've talked to them right in the seat you set in. Not that seat, because we just got we that just got one. Those yeah. Seats. But <laughs> in, in that place I mean. where you where you where you sitting right now, uh, in that exact place, you know, a lot of them have said here. I ain't put some of the videos out because it was just. Do I want to put this person out there in that in that in that light? light. Mm -hmm. That's how crazy it is, because of the way that they. Either they ran it, but it was more of a depressive rant. Hey, I, I'll say this. Sometimes, like, the depression and, 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 and that, that, that dark space, when they can get it off and they can see it and people can see it, don't ever think y'all are shining light on that. Sometimes you're just showing the vulnerability of a person. Because sometimes those artists never spoke their whole career. That's true. Because right. I never seen them on another they video. On right. They finally talk. You right. And they just right. spilling it, and it's and that's all they have to spill because that's all they've been dealing with in their heart. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. like, it's down to like the record I got New Year's resolution. Like the vulner, the, just being vulnerable. Sometimes being vulnerable is the best thing that you can be as an artist. Yeah. Like you let people in, you let people feel you for a minute. Like, cause I'm not one of them artists that just put my personal. Out there, like I'm not arguing. I'm never gonna. You gonna never see me arguing with my girl online. Like mm -hmm. you never gonna see me mad at my partners online. You never gonna see me doing certain things that a lot of artists do for. And and the bigger artists that are out, the reason that they are bigger is because they are they just do, mm. open books. Yeah, yeah. It's like this is you see what you get, and All I right. get that. Yeah. But I I know I have a lot more to protect. So I'm like, all right. Like I was talking to somebody backstage. <clears throat> He was like, man, I can't wait till you, you know, you this big and this that. Man, you supposed to be this big, bro. I'm sitting there chopping game with him, right? He chopping, he, and he just like, bro, I really rock with you. I'm like, and I, and I looked at bro, and I said, if I was um, as big as the names you name, you would be having to tell security that you know me to even get to me, bro. We couldn't mm -hmm. be sitting right here talking. That's right. That I so said, bro, true. I love my position, bro. Yeah. Like, don't ever get it messed up and think that I'm in my position and I hate it. Like, I love it. I get to look at the whole just of it. I have partners that are those celebrities, and they are treated like animals. Mm. You know you mm -hmm, understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, I, I can go somewhere it. and people going to come up and say, Lorraine, I like what you're doing, bro. Respect. I see you eating with your kids, and they move around. That's it. I love that. Like, yeah, do that. Like, But when you have people walk up to you with their phone out, I done seen my, my people and them get treated like that. And they don't know whether somebody is doing something bad to them or good to them. Mm -hmm. So their energy just automatically, and I, and I feel both sides. Like, I be like, I don't, I don't feel that. Yeah. Sometimes I really feel like that makes an artist hate what they do. What they do. Because you, you can't go outside in peace anymore. You can't, sure. you know, do things. That's why they put their kids in private schools mm -hmm. and do certain things with them because... They can't get peace. Mm -hmm. Paparazzi and everybody's mm -hmm. trying to get that clout, trying to take that picture, trying Remember to see them. Remember what I told you? Like, you got your Kanye, he gonna break a camera when he just not feeling, because it's like, you got, you, you, you're you treated like an animal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, like, you know, when you go to the, you know, we go the to the zoo. zoo, we go to the aquarium, them animals are doing what they do, animal shit, and everybody's just sitting there like, ooh. And taking they pictures like, and videos. And monkeys throw shit at you, like, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> like, that's not even my real... Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. I don't even like, like being looked at like this. And that's the same like feeling with artists, like, and they have to understand that they put themselves in that position, in that yeah. predicament. Yeah. So like I said, it's always a choice and you always gotta look at it from both ends. But as I fans think, though, sorry, right. but as fans, fans look at them as um you knew what you signed up for. Some fans, those are the ignorant fans that try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> when That's the fans, when, when a fan, if a fan tell you, oh, you, you don't want to be, team, you knew what you said. Like, you're crazy. First <laughs> off, you need to fucking go home. Yeah. Like, something wrong with you. Yeah. Because I'm a human like you at the end of the day. I went through all of the grade schools that you went through at the end of the day. Like, mm -hmm. unless I'm fucking Diggy Simmons or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, the majority of these people have overcame things that, you overcame as well. Like mm -hmm. they're still humans. Like yeah, no, they right. just they just successful and they making a, a lot of money. I I really I I like Robert Smith. I always talked about him years before anybody else even knew who he was. Uh, he a bank investor, richest black man in in the uh, American black man in the and United States. And he lives States. here in Texas. He live in Austin. Nobody knows he's worth eight leave. billion. He <laughs> worth eight billion. Eight billion. <laughs> and your brother. And he can walk right in here and sit down, and, and nobody know, won't even never. know. And that's the that's and that's and, dope. And you, you see what I, you see me writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know all these yeah, different. Yeah, that's dope. All these you, different. You don't have to deal with all of it, you know. 
I can still move, groove, and niggas be like, oh, running. I'm like, yeah, you think she's running. That's, that's, I already that's know. The I'm like, yeah, I'm great. I'm great. God is good to me. I already know. But why you is know? it only in this industry um, that, this industry that is, happens? Because actors, people will see an actor and maybe go up to them or maybe look at it. I'm like, is that such and such? He looks familiar. Is that the... But most of the time, they might go up to them, they might not. But entertainment business, as in like a rapper, artist, singer, you're going to get bombarded That's compared to it's anybody dope. else. It's dope to be in that light. Be Me, honest, mega I like stars, it. I feel for them. Yeah. Because I, I wouldn't say your talent is what makes you a mega star. Your talent is not what makes you a mega star. Because it's some talent is one of those things where everybody that like Drake, for everybody that like Drake, it's somebody that hate them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not the talent. It's just like the extra. It's the extra things that you do outside of that, and and you know, <laughs> bro. I feel bad for him. I remember Lil Kudos. Wayne. Lil Wayne came to a spot where we was at. We all, everybody else show. was just walking yeah. around. We kicking it. I'm talking about the. You could have seen the Migos walking around. We was all having a good time. Mm -hmm. But when Lil Wayne came, <laughs> listen to me, man. All everybody was there. French Montana. We all kicking it. Nobody ain't tripping. But I don't know what the hell going on. When Lil Wayne came, it was niggas in black suits came in first. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but this nigga got everybody. This It's a everybody line from here to that damn highway out there just formulated out of nowhere. And I'm talking to him like, what the hell going on? They say, oh, Lil Wayne is coming. And I say, what? Man, hell, all these people in here, y'all tripping. But this is the energy he brings. And as soon as he I'm walked in, playing, everybody bro. that's... Grafted straight over there. And, and, and the whole, the whole, like one girl just starts shaking. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, what the <laughs> hell is going on? I'm here with him. I don't know what climbing over the wall trying to look type mm -hmm. stuff, bro. I mm -hmm. mean, this is the energy he don't brought. Even, Ti didn't even get all of that. No, Ti walk in. Yeah, Ti no, don't. Ti come that. there all the time, so he walks in and goes straight to the booth. Yeah, and come back out and he can walk around. But Lil Wayne, nothing. I don't like know that. what that was. I'm just telling you what happened That's when I was there. Home. <laughs> That's tone Like he gonna he Wayne is one of them ones Like Wayne one of them ones Yeah Like every rapper Can say Wayne one of them ones mm -hmm. Yeah Like and you know As rappers You know Rappers don't like Giving nobody credit But they selves They think they the hardest Yeah So when, when you can say That's Lil Wayne Yeah Wayne know that he got to come with Secret Service. Damn sure do. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that much. Got I've to. seen it. He and that, like to. I said, you got to realize where we're at. Everybody in here, business owners, or they belong in the room. Mm -hmm. But the room changed. Hit the energy changed when he came <laughs> when in. You came. remember that? Wow. <laughs> we even go. To, we went to the party with your God, and then we in there, everybody chilling. But when Lil Wayne showed up to this event where different. we were all, it was totally different. He was the only one. Nobody else really got that. Mm -mm. He was the only one who mm -hmm. ever and. A lot of them. We've been, been saying there. niggas for years. Yeah. Hey, hey, everybody y'all just named one Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I respect and love everybody y'all name, but they ain't Lil Wayne. It's like, a whole but different you know, Wayne. Is Wayne different. And the funny thing is, Wayne hasn't put out anything for a, a while. Mm -hmm. It's still like and that. I guarantee you, if he walk in, it's still going to change gonna the whole be just thing. That's Lil Wayne. Why is it like that though? He's so hard. He hard. <laughs> I tell you why he hard. He's, he's been hard for. He's been consistently hard for so long. Whether whether you don't like, because I don't like Wayne with with so much auto tune. That's me, me neither. I'm the same way. But that don't discredit. That don't matter. All the Wayne I love. I don't like anybody with auto tune except from T Pain. That's about it. Really? <laughs> Not to the and look extent. even even T Pain. T Pain in his hottest days, he said. Only niggas I'm giving a pass is Wayne and Kanye. <laughs> we talking about Wayne. Yeah. And remember who I named earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye. Like, these are the niggas that's like... Kanye will get that same energy. Yeah, if he ever... He, <laughs> yeah, but he never, he hasn't I been never there met yet. him yet. But but I know it's a different whole world when it's going down. Have you ever down. met him? I ain't met Kanye. I ain't met Wayne. Really? I met Dre. That's Jay -Z. dope. I ain't met Jig. I mean, see these is Jig coming. You, hey, look. When I get into a room with Jig, it's going up. down. Yeah. Hey, you niggas in trouble. <laughs> you in it, trouble. Check it, man. Well, hey, man, Lil Ronnie, we love you, man. I love y'all yeah. too, man. You our brother, man. You are, you, hey, you our family, man. That that signifies it, man. This we, is love, bro. Man, for sure, for sure, man. Now, like I said, we came out as a podcast. We was going to give out awards and give people roses while they were here. You remember me saying yes, it when sir. we first started. And that's how we getting down, man. Thank you so much, man. Man, I appreciate Boss Talk 101, man. Hey. Like I told y'all before, man, y'all keep being great. Y'all keep getting them names here. 
I'm gonna personally make sure I get Jay White to cut through here. Already, so, man. That's all I needed. But so we're yes, gonna sir. do that. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out. Hey Ronnie, we here at Boss Talk 101 would love to present you with this award. This is say thank you for all your hard work. And it says, presented to Lil Ronnie, AKA Mr. Ronnie Wright, in recognition to your many years of service to the rap industry, not only as a rapper, but also as a writer creating hit after hit, year after year. 2021. 2021. Jen, I appreciate that. Say, man, we're giving our roses while they're here, bro. I'll let you. About Soul 101. It's up.